Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In tonight's video, we're going to give a midweek stock market update. I'm going to try to start doing this every week and I just kind of give an update on the plays that we talked about from our Sunday night stock pick video. If you have not seen that stock pick video, it's popping up in the right hand screen. Take a look at it if you'd like. Uh, if not, then, you know, wait for next Sunday and take a look at those because we're going to go over actually these picks and the watch list and everything in this video so uh, just to reiterate guys not a financial advisor make sure you do your own research before investing also if you find value in today's video smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell that way youtube can let you know when we release new content so let's dive into it guys vixcentral.com uh, the vix right now is under 20 we're at 17.36 which is a good sign for us we're not showing a whole lot of volatility this number here is positive. We're flirting with two plus, which is a good sign for us as well. One thing uh, to still kind of keep in mind, however, though the fear and greed index, we're still a little lower in fear at 35, which is kind of interesting considering we had a couple of green days in the market. This didn't really move too much, uh, but the seven fear and greed indicators, you see some or, you know, extreme greed, greed, uh, neutral, and then you see down here we have fear, extreme fear, and extreme fear in four out of these seven uh, categories. We are in fear or extreme fear. So that's very interesting to see and to kind of keep an eye on. Uh, or is this fear and greed index? And uh, still kind of be cautious out there. I'm not sure if we're out the woods uh, from this, you know, dip back down to the bottom. I'm not sure if this is maybe a false breakout to the upside. And then maybe get like a little rug pull. Hope not. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of show that to you. So uh, let's take a look at uh, some of the plays that we talked about. So we talked about Tesla. We talked about um, Genog, IDEX, Sasol, Waiter. Or we talked about those. And I'm going to give you just a couple of quick updates on those. So Tesla had a couple of great days in the market. And uh, they had an article that come out and it said Tesla's big news was overshadowed by Ford. Its stock rose anyway. So I'm just going to read you a part of this article. I'm going to link the rest of it in the description below if you want to read through the whole thing. It said Tesla said its plans to transition into driver assistance system to rely exclusively on optical cameras or rather than radar in a site. In a site, it is advancing with its effort to develop autonomous vehicles. Beginning with deliveries in May 2021, the Model 3 and Model Y vehicles built for the North American market will no longer be equipped with radar, uh, reads a blog post from the company about the new Tesla Vision system. Instead, these will be the first Tesla vehicles to rely on camera vision and neutral net processing to deliver autopilot, full self-driving, and certain active safety features. Autopilot is the same for Tesla basic driver assistance functions. Most automakers offer comparable features such as an adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assistance. Tesla's full self-driving or FSD system is available uh, via a $10,000 upgrade is a more advanced version of its driver assistance features. The cameras combined with software that serves as the brains behind the vehicle's eyes. So uh, Tesla had a couple of good days uh, in the market like i was mentioning we'll look at the charts here in a minute but i want to share that article with article with you a part of it and the link is going to be in the description below as well next up guys golden nugget online gaming genog g-n-o-g okay we talked about this they were up for uh, five awards the egr uh, north american uh, virtual awards and we'll come down here and show you that they actually won two of them this has not been released yet on tv ameritrade or anything uh, so we're bringing it here to you first. So they got a marketing campaign. Uh, they won that and mobile operator of the year. So the comments that they had was uh, by far, this was the most detailed and impressive campaign presentation. And I say, wow, to the numbers. Well done. Another comment. Excellent promotion by Golden Nugget. Engagement and retention statistics are on target and very good submission to boot. Another one says persuasive campaign with strong metrics and results. Creative was less compelling than other entrants. Uh, and then Mobile Operator of the Year they, uh, went on to say, Golden Nugget addressed every criteria and provided sufficient data to support their convention and they deserve the award. 
They took the award criteria seriously. Golden Nugget provided impressive data showing their past year success, while other operators enjoyed dramatic growth in 2020 due to the pan pandemic. Genog provided a robust amount of data and key performance indicators to uh, sub substantiate their position. Excellent production and quality and functionality. Genog provides a large suit of games <clears throat> and exclusive slots that work on iOS and Android platforms. Sports and casino games work together. Innovative and differentiation, Genog addressed each criteria and put together a compelling campaign as to why they should be selected mobile operator of the year. So that's fantastic, guys. And once this hits uh, hits the news, it should see a little uptick in price. So let's take a look at the charts, guys, for this stock, Tesla stock, and some of the other ones, as I didn't really get any other news from IDEX, Sasol, or Waiter from my stock picks. But I wanted to show you the charts and break those down as well. All right, guys, so before I get into the other stocks, I wanted to show you the S&P. Looks like we're losing some steam here on the MACD. It'd be interesting to see what happens uh, if we pull down a little bit or maybe we come out and we push up higher. If maybe we trade sideways for a little bit and then try to push up or do we you know, pull back down? It'll be interesting to watch how that plays out. So first and foremost, we're going to look at Tesla because that was the first one we talked about. And I'll just kind of give you an idea of what's going on with the charts. We did get above that resistance of uh, 598, which is great. And uh, we, we had, like I said, a, a pretty couple of great days. And uh, we are close to overvalued, though. So if we get to overvalued, maybe about the 630 area, I can see us pulling back down and potentially testing this resistance of about $600, 598 or so. Current resistance is about 708 and some change 708.25 to be exact gnog is currently te uh, trying to test that support of i'm sorry resistance of 1357 we are also getting close to overvalued territory just something to be aware of but if we can come out the gates and bust through there and then get the pullback and use this 1357 as support that would be a great sign moving forward let's take a look at idex IDEX is kind of all in the same situation here, guys. They they had a, a decent run up, um, wanting to try to test that 303 resistance level, but we are currently above that SMA line, which is a great sign. So even if we get a pullback and we find resistance at about 272, that's a really really good move, um, a really good bounce looking forward to try to you know keep that momentum on to the upside. Sasol guys, we talked about maybe it can get up to about 1650 uh, from where it was in the 15s, and we're currently roughly about 1630 ish. Okay, so if it were me and I, and I got in here, then I would consider taking profits here, or if it gets to about 1650, I would look to maybe take profits off of it if you're in a shorter term position because I can see maybe pulling back down again to test that SMA line or that lower support level of. 1513 and then waiter waiter had a decent little spike up but i don't trust it to be honest with you i can see it going a little bit higher but if you're swinging it from here i would maybe take profits either right here or if it gets about the two maybe 215 level uh, because i've gotten burned on this stock a couple of times so i can see it uh, falling back down again all right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Make sure that you smash the thumbs up button if you found value in today's video. And if you enjoy our content, of course, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, we'll catch you in the next video.